So an insane new AI text to video tool just dropped called Luma Labs. It's completely free and it's on par with OpenAI's Sora. Here's how to use it. So the URL to access this tool is lumalabs.ai and their flagship tool is called Dream Machine, which is an AI model that makes high quality realistic videos fast from text and images. Now I'm gonna show you some examples of just how powerful this thing is because it's kind of mind blowing. So anybody can easily sign up. Here's a couple of the examples that I early made. First one that I had tried was sort of something that I had dreamed about as a kid, but a spaceship that looks like a manta ray flying on earth. And this is what it actually gave me. Now that's pretty interesting, but I didn't think it was close enough. So I wanted to try something a little bit more focused on IP like Kermit the frog in a dark fantasy wood setting and it actually did it this is actually pretty darn perfect this is actually kermit the frog maybe he's a little hairier than normal but he's in this fantasy dark world setting now if you remember from about a year and a half ago this was the first sort of ai text to video prompt of will smith eating spaghetti and it's so wonky and and weird and and mind trippy here. And so I actually used that same prompt in here. Now, this is obviously not Will Smith, but look at the actual quality and, and difference in this. This is actually two gentlemen eating spaghetti at an Italian restaurant. This looks really good. It's more than just an animated image. It's an actual scene that's transpiring over about three or four seconds. Now let's try something incredibly specific and see how powerful this thing can actually now, I'm really curious about the use cases with IP here because if I type something in like Goku fighting Frieza in space, this is obviously pertaining to Dragon Ball Z, which is copyrighted material. Now, it didn't have a problem with Kermit over here. I'm curious if it's going to allow me to make realistic people. Let's find out exactly what's going to happen if I enter this one. Wow. Okay. So here's the final result here. So this is obviously a resemblance of Goku. Now Frieza is nowhere to be seen. However, it does get a lot of the elements there. So Goku is fighting somebody in space. They are fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat, which I don't really see. Uh, and then Goku fires a Kamehameha. So there's definitely some walkiness here, but this is pretty good. Now, I also want to test the limits of what they're allowed to do as far as real people, real influential people, as well as violence, because these are sort of controversial things within AI. I want to see if they have any safeguards in place. And so let's type something really extreme, like United States presidential candidate Donald Trump punching current United States president Joe Biden in the face. They are both dripping blood. The setting is in the UFC octagon. Let's see what's actually possible with this tool and if this crosses any lines or not. Okay, so it actually gave me an error here. Failed to create generation for requested prompt. Okay, so there are some safe guides here. Let's figure out exactly what they are. I wonder if it's the blood, first of all. Ah, failed to create generation for requested prompts. So it looks like it won't allow me to create videos with individual with these individual people. I think this tool is actually really cool and I love that they've made it free out of the gate to use. They're not asking for a credit card. They just want you to go in, try it and experiment with it. I think this is going to open up a lot of opportunities specifically for B-roll in content creation, but you know, we're going to be able to do so many new creative things with videos over the next year with tools like this, tools like Sora, advancements in Pika Labs. All of these text to AI video generation tools are blurring the lines of creativity and what is possible, allowing anybody to leverage that creativity in their brain to create their vision and get it out there into the world. Let me know your thoughts on this tool. If you've had a chance to try this out, if you like this, if this worries you or scares you, let me know in the comments.